Welcome to my channel. Recently I received several questions regarding my Thule Art acrylic markers and what is my opinion about them. Well, I made a, a quick review of these markers when I just purchased them, but now after several months of more frequently uh, usage of them, I would say that my opinion changed a little bit. So uh, let's talk what I discovered and what I think about this brand and about these sets. My first set it was this green one. When I found it on Amazon I was crazy happy. You know that I prefer to mask black lines when I already colored everything with pencils and then especially on the leaves, on the flowers, I need uh, normal, regular lo looking green colors, pastel colors and I was happy to find that in this set we have variety of greens because usually we have sets of markers of primary colors, just one or two greens and here it was exactly what I needed. I have uh, regular greens, I have olive a warm green tones and I have blue green colors which are also very helpful for the water and of course I needed it. I was very happy to discover that they have nice thin tip because I also don't like to work with the thick tip. My favorite size is um, similar to the size Posca PC1M. It's um, 0 0.7 millimeters thin tip and these markers they have the same size so of course I purchased it and I was very happy with this set and I'm still happy with it I love color selection I think that they are quite comfortable to use um, both sets they have this spare nibs included but I hadn't changed anyone yet I take care of them by simply wiping the tip when I finish to color I wipe the tip of the marker and then it's quite easy to activate them. Before I had only these Posca markers and I, I think that you can see that they are definitely not very good if you want to do uh, leaves all those markers they are too neon bright probably they are good for maybe for the clothes for some other decorative purposes but not for the leaves and grass here we have nice selection of colors which i can use for the uh, warm shade on the leaves and regular colors here they are in this set we have numbers with the names on the box and matching numbers on the cups. Also uh, when I have this marker I have this um, clear window where you can see actual color of the inks and you can see level of the remaining acrylic ink. Also very comfortable. I especially love light colors in this set uh, probably this one it's my favorite but I also quite often use numbers 1, 7 uh, also I love those uh, 18, 21 so mid-tones which are very helpful when you color landscapes and I was so happy with this set that I decided to look at the other products by Thule Art. They have variety of markers with bigger size of the nib, with smaller size. They have even glitter markers. But I was interested especially in those uh, sets with uh, one color palette. I wanted to purchase all of them. But first I found this one and I think that well, they can be pricey. Uh, this one I purchased on Black Friday and this one I purchased somewhere in January. So I decided that maybe um, the rest of the sets I will purchase later. I will save money for them. And first I will purchase this set because I really was attracted to this picture. We have uh, skin tones, we have air colors. I imagine how it will be nice to have 
different grays, all those beautiful greens. So I thought that it can be a perfect next purchase. But when I got them, I noticed some differences. The first difference is that um, probably I got the old model of markers. I saw reviews where people got markers which look exactly the same. They have numbers. My set it doesn't have any indication of the color name or color number. We have those names and numbers, only names on the box, but with all those beige colors I have no idea what exactly is the matching marker because they don't have any mark, marks, at least I didn't found them. And these markers, the old ones, they also don't have this clear window to see actual color of the ink. And I discovered that if in this set uh, color of the ink match color on the cup, so it's easy. And you can see it, the actual ink here matching isn't that good. Well, the second difference was that these markers, they are much harder to activate. You know how we activate these markers, we get them, we do this one is still clear. We do a couple of these pushing movements and after a couple of these uh, movements uh, ink starts to pump to the tip and it was enough to do just a couple of pushes and marker is activated and ready to work. Here you need to push for 10 minutes and when, you know when you do these pushing movements it's a huge risk to ruin the tip because it's plastic. Yes, we have the spare nibs, but still I don't want to ruin it when I just start to activate it. And it's a problem with all markers in this set. They are activating much slower comparing to this one. I don't know, maybe it's difference in some inner mechanics of the marker. The flow of the ink when they are activated, it's good. It's not they are dried or ink is yeah. dense. No, the flow of the ink is good. It's just a very slow activating. When I plan to use new marker from this set, I can color, I do a couple of pushing movement and I can even continue to um, do my video without interrupting it. I just activated marker and I can continue. But when I know that I need a new marker from this set, I make a break, I spend 15 minutes by pushing, activating and on the same marker probably will be ready to start working. Another difference is that some of the markers from this set, they are sticky on the paper after, uh, even after a couple of the days. No problems at all with this set. Um, some of the colors work well, but some of the colors, they, especially if you put mm, general generous amount of ink, maybe big dot or maybe if you colored some area, not just make a line with them, they can be sticky and your pictures, pages in the book, they can stick together. I had such problem in my goddesses book. So you also have to be careful. That's another quality problem. You know that I live in Ukraine, so even when I discovered these problems, I can't return them <laughs> to USA. I just made a negative um, review on Amazon. I gave them three dots because they it's not that they are um, very bad. It's just they are not as good as this set. So I made a review with three stars and I hope that um, next uh, people who would purchase the set, they will get, um, receive the better quality, the new quality set and that they don't encounter, encounter such problems as I have with this one. So they are sticky, they are different, difficult to activate. Um, now let's talk about colors. I'm not sure that I have all of them here. That's why I was attracted, because colors are really, really interesting. And I do love 
mm, some colors from this set. Grays are quite good. I have several of them. In my Posca pens I have only uh, cold gray colors. Here I also have a couple of warm gray colors and this uh, slate gray is good. I especially appreciate this one. It's really very helpful for the eyes, for the any light blue objects. When you color glass, this one is also very helpful. So I, this set, it has uh, some good things. I do love greens here. Uh, I would say that green colors, which I got in this set, they are slightly different comparing to the greens. So no duplicates and it's another good thing. Well, I would prefer to have a bigger amount of light colors, but what can I say, not everyone colors and they are multifunctional. I tried to color with them on, on the brick and they were good. But here we have another problem. Not all of them are completely opaque. First of all, opacity of all Posca markers is bigger comparing to uh, these markers. Uh, I would say that Posca, uh, all Posca apart from the glitter ones, they are opaque and with one or maximum two layers you will be able to mask black lines. Green markers, they are also uh, opaque and with two um, layers you will be able to mask black lines. But in this set, several markers, they are opaque like normal acrylic markers, but some of them behave like uh, water-based uh, watercolor markers, so they gave you a transparent ink, no any opacity at all. And I have two yellow colors in this set. <laughs> and this yellow, uh, one is more opaque and one is more transparent. Well, after shaking for maybe 10 minutes, um, they behave, start to behave better and ink um, becomes more opaque. But as I said, it's not as comfortable to use as green markers or Posca markers. Now I learned this problem, so if I need some of the specific colors, I prepare them, I shake, I draw for several minutes until transparent ink flows and opaque ink starts to flow. But it's, um, it's a problem and I noticed it. Some of them are still good, especially some of the dark colors, but se several colors are almost transparent. And final thing about these markers, it's like cherry on top of the pie. Some of the colors which you expected from this set, they actually don't match colors which you have on the caps. Let's try to make a short test. Here I have markers which I love from this set. Here I have something which probably supposed to be light gray, I think. But when you start to work, it definitely looks much, much greenish. I don't mind to have such um, looks like uh, sandbar brown or green ochre from Prismacolor set. I don't mind to have such marker, but still it doesn't match the cap. Well, after shaking, 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 probably you will be able to get such color, but it's not, you have to think about it each time when you plan to use it, so not to put it directly on, the, on your page, first you need to prepare it for a long time. Next one we have this very pleasant light marker for the light skin tone, perfect. I don't know exactly what we have here, maybe it's a light tan, maybe it's a rose dash, I don't know. But when you start to work, it has much, much more orange. Actually it's a big problem of all these markers, they have 
distinctive orange touch in many of them. Here we have a couple of very pleasant warm beige colors. You can see that it's darker and again much more orange. By themselves they are not bad, they simply not what you expect from the cup. Now we have this bunch of pink markers. Honestly, I'm not sure that I even tested all of them. This one it's more again it's more orange and yellowish when you compare it to the cap. Well here maybe some of them we will need to activate. Actually this one is good. So as I said some of them they are good. <laughs> Just some of them they have problems. Again shaking and color again has more orange and less pink. After some time, some time of shaking, you still have orange. Yeah. That's definitely not what you expect. Another one. This one it's very transparent and you can see that it has much more yellowish tint, nothing similar to the cup. Activate again with shake and it's still nothing similar to the cup. I don't know, maybe you need some charm, maybe you need to tell some spells. To work with them properly. Look at this terrible difference. I would say that now I don't have actual markers for the light skin tones, but I have a lot of markers for the brick, for the wood. So you just need to do a new swatching and you have to remember that instead of this pleasant peach, summer tan, champagne, rose beige, you have a bunch of various terracotta, orange colors. Sorry, do you see any of this pleasant, uh, I would say that it's like a uh, great rose or something like this, very pleasant uh, muted uh, a lavender pink color, but nothing similar on the paper. It's still this brown. I have no idea of what to do with this one. No, it's still terribly brown. Also try this bunch. Well, more or less more yellowish, but at least something. Sorry, but do you see any similarity between this color and this one? <laughs> Absolutely no. As I said, now I have plenty of markers to work on the wood, on the bricks, on terracotta things. In my honest opinion, if you need a marker to mask black lines on the light skin tone, the best choice is Posca, Beige and Ivory. They are absolutely perfect. On top of them you can work with pencils if Beige it's 
if you want slightly different but at least this beige it's completely opaque and it can work with any of the pencils for the light skin tone for the dark skin tone it's slightly easier because with a creamy thick dark pencil you simply can cover lines simply with pencils but with light skin tone ivory and beige are the best choice so what can i say it's not a complete failure and some of the colors I love to use them um, honestly some of the colors I haven't even used I think that many of this red and orange I simply don't use such colors in my colorings quite often or I don't need them to mask black lines I do it with pencils some of the colors I really love and appreciate mm -hmm. The only thing I... I don't want to discourage you from purchasing these markers because this set I absolutely love and maybe other color sets they also are good. I only can recommend that if you decide to purchase such set you need to check if you have uh, markers of this new um, formula and new look with these color codes and with the um, window form for the ink maybe maybe it's because i have the old model and the set which i, which I purchased first i have um, a more modern model so just check quality when you receive them check them immediately and if you are not happy if you can return them then use such a possibility of course i still intend to use uh, many of them i just um, accepted that all of these markers i don't I can't use for the skin because I risk to ruin my portraits if I use such colors but when I do landscapes they actually can be helpful so just not what I expected from them well I hope that this quick update of my opinion of these markers it was helpful and I plan to make another video uh, about so color pencils which you also quite frequently ask me about well a little bit of spoiler so color pencils are much more success comparing to these markers so color pencils i do love well thank you for listening to my rambling and if you have your own experience with these markers i'm especially interested in uh, similar sets in other colors i would like to hear because i still think that maybe blue set uh, blue violet i still want to purchase so of course i would be happy to hear your opinion and your experience with the tuli art markers